And despite a record number of pressure-pushing vetoes, Governor Abbott did sign four bills into law addressing the fentanyl crisis, which claimed the lives of 2,000 Texans just last year. Those include increasing criminal penalties for people who make and deal the drug. But some parents who are fighting for action are surprised at some of the fentanyl-related bills that did not pass. And our Grace Reader has more on that. There we go. It's something that creeps into Chrislyn Wells' everyday life. Even here at work, she thinks about her son Chandler. That's at the Rockin' Tomato. Who died of a fentanyl overdose in 2021. He was only 18. Earlier this week, Wells was one of the moms in this room. Watching Governor Abbott sign a bill into law that will allow fentanyl deaths to be investigated as murders. The legislature took up my call, embraced it. That law is something Wells thinks will help people like her down the road. It'll make it easier for families to have access to victim services and help grieving families seek answers. Whether it's a homicide, a suicide, um, a true overdose or whatever, nobody knows when they don't investigate. But she's disappointed that other bills focused on fentanyl didn't pass despite an early nod from the governor. Notably, fentanyl testing strips, which help detect if the often fatal drug is mixed into less potent ones. Those are illegal in Texas right now. There needs to be a huge push for anything that has to do with harm reduction. That was something we asked Travis County Judge Brown about last week. Everybody that I have talked to on the Republican and Democratic side that actually deals with this issue at the local level believes that we need to legalize fentanyl test strips. Wells also wants Texas's Good Samaritan law to be made less strict, something harm reduction advocates push for before the session. Right now, people charged with a drug crime or who have called 911 for an overdose in the past 18 months don't qualify, something Wells says contributed to her son's death. And so she didn't call, and, and he died. Well says she had hope at the beginning of the session that more would be done, but now she's again left waiting for solutions. I'm hoping for Texans, you know, for us here in Texas, that God will watch over us and help us be an example to changing things because it, ha it has to change. Grace Reader reporting. Parents have a lot to think about these days and a lot to watch for that we may not have been able to recognize or deal with in the past.